a Super Nintendo boy. And as you can see, today I am not playing any game, uh, excluding Minecraft here. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm on a mobile device. That's why there's that blurred background there. And I'm actually using a uh, an Android screen sharing service called uh, MobiZen. It's really useful. I have a link to it in the description. It's completely free, super easy to use. That's why there's that little uh, red M you see on my screen on the top and to the right. But yeah, if you couldn't tell by the title, I have created my own app. I have coded it myself completely, so I'm pretty proud of myself. It's my first experience with creating an application. Um, but I use the same coding skills that I used to create my Lore of Charisma wiki, which I still haven't updated, so don't check that out, please. But yeah, it's called Spot the Squid. It's ready to eat for everyone. Um, as you can see, the description is a fun searching game where you can scroll around Minecraft looking for squids. Um, and let's just go ahead and go into it. So I'm just going to hit my home screen and we'll go ahead and hit Spot the Squid. Now, actually, let's go back here. I want to tell you guys about the one glitch that I haven't been able to fix. And that's because, as you can see here, the icon for Spot the Squid isn't my icon that I gave to Android, it's actually this uh, icon that's from Cordova, which is one of the programs that I use to create my app. I'll have the link to the, the description of pretty much everything I use to create this app in the description. But anyway, that's one big bug. Uh, I'm assuming none of you guys really know how to fix that. I'm still trying to figure out how to, and I'll update you guys when it is fixed. But anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. It takes a little bit to load, and as you can see, we're in a little Minecraft world, so if I scroll around, I should be able to find a squid somewhere. And, uh, let's see if we can find him. Um, he's somewhere in here. Hmm, where is he? I think he's somewhere in here. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he is, off to the side here. And we'll just go ahead and tap him. Oh, goodness, I need to turn up the brightness. Oh, there we go, I got him. Okay, so pretty much how this works is there's a bunch of levels and it plays similar to I Spy or Where's Waldo. Pretty much in every level, you search for where the squid is. In this case, you can see a little leg of him right there, and, or tentacle, I should say. And you just tap it and it brings you on to the next level. And there's 30 different levels. It's completely randomized, so you might get the same level a few times in a row, but that's okay. Uh, you should be able to beat the whole thing in um, 5 minutes, 10 minutes flat. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's decently fun if you don't know where they're, all of them are. Also, you might be able to see some scenes from my adventure map and different videos and such. So, keep an eye out for that. The app is completely free. It's only for Android on the Google Play Store. Sorry for my iOS users out there. Uh, excuse me. And uh, I think that's about it, so uh, happy searching, and um, links in the description, and uh, as always, have a wonderful day.